In this video, you guys are gonna see one of the greatest minor cycle gameplay ever. I honestly believe like these are some of the best matches that I've ever played in my life. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to master the, the littlest interactions, the smallest interactions and how to get better at this game. When to go in, when to defend, when to attack, how to defend, like how to defend both lanes at the same time and when to attack both lanes at the same time. I'm gonna show you everything. So we are playing 2.5 min minor cycle deck with the motor obviously because motor is light. We are up against trainer Ray in in great challenge, and uh, he's a really good player. He has top 20 finishes, multiple top 20 finishes in like global tournament ladder everything. So this is a really good player, and he's playing motorcycle with rocket and firecracker, Evo firecracker. Oh no, I think it's Evo motor. Yeah, so. Was this interaction? I play Ice Spirit to activate King Tar immediately minor so we don't take any damage. Now I log on the right and bats immediately on the left. Did you guys know? Did you guys notice that? So this is the situational awareness that I was talking about. You guys need to be aware of both lanes at all times and know exactly how to defend that. So here I just play a defensive motor for his motor. Because I'm playing a deck that doesn't have a tank. My only tank is the Little Prince ability and sometimes I cannot even use it. Since he played Rocket, he was aggressive. So I played the tank to so the tower attacks my tank, Guardian, and then my Miner can get chip damage. Because he went aggressive, so I went like that. Now he knows I'm low in Elixir. I still lock that. But he knows I'm low in elixir now and he has Evo motor, so he's gonna get so much value here. Watch this. He's way up he's way up in elixir than me. So Evo motor is Evo motor absolutely kills my motor, normal motor, and he, he has knight too. Now look at how much damage he's gonna get here. I play uh, Evo Skellies just to distract the knight, but the Evo motor is still gets one last shot and the damage lead is like he has 1000 damage lead uh, on me and he's playing a quick cycle rocket cycle pick now watch how i come back again we're gonna do that again i tank the use the guardian as a tank and miner to chip damage i also log there kill his uh, spear gobs now my miner is getting some damage but his motor cycle is like his deck is also really quick. He played a rocket, so I go minor again. Was the skeletons? Did you guys notice the skeletons in the middle to distract the firecracker on the left? Yep. He activates King Tower. We're gonna look at this. Word. I know he's gonna defensive motor for my motor, so I immediately went minor. That is situational awareness. I also poisoned this motor for uh, to kill that and get tower damage. I'm trying to cycle my life here, like. He's gonna rock our rocket cycle me in triple elixir. Like the rockets are gonna go flying. And look at the uh, ice spirit on the left. I let one spear gob connect and then play ice spirit so both two uh, spear gobs get full. Now we are uh, we are equal in damage here. And he's gonna now look at this. Uh Lurpins on the anti tornado position. I know a lot of people play like tornado when they attack with bowler and firecracker to get damage on the tower but I know that trick I'm not a, a amateur you know so little prince on the entire tornado position he plays rocket again I go minor now I'm trying to poison here because <laughs> he's trying to rock a cycle so he was trying to log and tornado and that would have been game but I played like cycle so quick so yeah when you face uh, little prince this is another match immediately immediately uh, one of poison we don't want that to get any sort of value because it's really hard for us to deal with his guardian because we do not have a tank in this deck. So look at that. I also play minor to keep the little prince attack going, but he plays a uh, an uh, spirit. So that was like good for us. And uh, this is also a really really close match. This guy playing like minor cycle poison with two elixir gold. Now I'm gonna explain to you guys who has matchup and why. So he has matchup because he's gonna go minor poison, will exert my tower, 
and the, I have bats and one of the just skeletons to catch his miner. If, if we do catch it, poison is gonna kill it. So he has two elixir goblins. When I go miner poison. He's gonna play the two elixir goblins, and if he catches my miner, then like my miner is near dead, you know, because he can catch it and I can't. So this is his matchup. Now look at that. I'm in trouble here. I do not have any elixir. I have to log this. Just because I don't have a tank in this in this deck, and I created it, uh, I created this deck myself because I was born and I wanted to have some fun and uh, play a really really <laughs> dumb deck with uh, no tank and all attack. Like motor is not a defensive uh, unit. Motor is an attack unit. Now I wait here to bats because he might poison and bats is like that is really bad value. I play Motor on the left just to squeeze his block tower out because I don't want Bomb Tower on his defense on the right side. I play the bats to keep the little prince on the poison so the poison kills it. He goes kill it because once again I do not have a tank. Little prince out of poison range and he's getting a lot of uh, damage here. I'm gonna like, uh, like we both have really good but the thing is uh, Look at those. That's what I'm talking about. His goblins catches my miner and doesn't doesn't even matter. Like now, look at my look at my deck. I have to ability just for that miner. Look at the left side. So that situational awareness right there. I play skeletons after the knight locks on my tower and then I spirit to retarget. I hear this is a good poison value. This is a really good poison value. I'm also gonna log to kill the low prince. Now look at this. I catch his miner. I play skeletons. Skeleton is already dead. Miner is getting so much damage. That's why he has matchup. Now I play the prince after he, after he played poison. Now I'm gonna have to like tank the guard or tank with guardian again. But this time like he played bomb tower, so I just play poison because I don't really feel the need to play miner right here because uh, if he plays bomb tower, then you might play goblins on the right and bomb tower is gonna kill it, you know. Here I'm just playing log to kill the goblins and his minor poison I can do nothing against that like blueprints on the farm but minor is still gonna get damaged so he has a lot of damage lead right now he also has evil knight in cycle I play motor at the uh, bridge just to like bait something look at those goblins those goblins catch my minor my minor did not get a single hit minor did not get a single hit now I catch his minor with my evil skellies this is this is really good for me. He's gonna have poison. I, I go minor. I go um, minor poison. Now I'm gonna have to defend this land and really quickly cycle. I, I I completely ignore his minor and cycle my minor. But uh, look at this. It's a really close game. And uh, if I played poison minor poison there, I would have lost because poison is not gonna uh, like get damage fast. So Let minor log. To catch his goblins too, and uh, that's how we win. You guys are gonna see a lot of. Uh, you need to be like really, really aware. Like, uh, look at this motor. I play this motor because he doesn't, so that he doesn't get lightning value. Like, uh, the little prince was close to motor, and if he plays lightning, then like this game, you know, I don't have anything. Here, I have to use miner and the uh, freeze his skelly giant. Uh, what is that? Ezant, yeah, Ezant for a chance to not take damage after motor. I mean, this deck is quick cycle, but still, like, I wish there's so much elixir in there. Now, this little bit placement is really bad because his little, his little bit is charged up, so that was kind of bad. Here, I have to minor to the little bit gets a few shots on my tower. So, yeah, this is Ezant Lightning, and the, I believe the number one guy last season finished I was using this deck the Ezant lightning deck with bowler and weapons so yeah this this is a really strong deck and this is uh, 10 wins in grand challenge so this this guy is not bad and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to beat this matchup there I'm just trying to cycle cats uh, cycle cars because he plays tornado right so little prince on the left if you play little prince in the middle we're gonna have to play defensive motor, bowler, and uh, he's gonna lightning a lot of lightning. Value. Oh, look at this! This is still lightning value. 
but he misses the little prince. So that that was what I was aiming for, and it actually worked. Now here he played Barbell, so I play Igor Skelly's. I also played Bad Slate, so that uh, the tornado doesn't. Play. I know he, I know his deck. I know his card cycle. I know his elixir. You know, so look, th this is exactly the meta how I want. So to give you a little breakdown, breakdown how I want, I played. I start by playing Little Prince on the left. Motor in the middle, so he doesn't get lightning value. He misses my little prince. Plays bar barrel. I play Evo Skelly's and uh, bats late. I played bats late because he doesn't have anything to kill Evo Skelly, so he has to tornado. So I play bats late and like guardian and minor. Thanks for the bats in this tower. Now look at this prison on defense. Cycle my motor. Try to kill his little prince with bats, but it's not working. Poison, I double poison on defense. Ice, ice spirit to cast that guardian. Minor to retarget that guardian. This is game. This is how you play 2.5 cycle. You just cycle two poisons on defense. So, yep. This is another match. I, I play log on the right side to kill four, four goblins. One is just skeleton, so we don't take any damage. This is how you defend the skeleton battle. Bats, bats like that. And then like, if you ignore those bats, then uh, it's get like two skeletons get a shot. So it's not that bad, but still get some damage. But uh, that's how you defend like skeleton barrel bats. You just put right on, on top of it, like not on top of it, but surround the skeleton barrel. So that when it pops, the bats in the front, like three bats survive that, you know? So yeah, defensive motor for the creeps. Now you guys need to like really, really learn how to defend. I play bats the right because they they still have their seals, you know. I pull them back with the one of the skeletons and their pins in the back. Now our three card cycle is activated. Log skeletons, bats. Now we have Evo uh, Evo skeletons in our hand. This is like a really quick cycle. I'm gonna tank with Miner for those four bats that are alive. And uh, they killed the Visserman actually. He's, he, he missed his roll delivery because the bats didn't didn't go to the tower, so he missed his roll delivery. I got a lot of damage here. I also logged to take the shield off. Now look, as soon as they play Little Prince, you need to poison them because uh, the Little Prince and their Guardians, they're really hard to defend. Um, with our deck, so I'm gonna tank these bats with Ice Spirit for Miner on his tower to tank after, so that afterwards Miner is tanking for the bats. You know, it's like the littlest interactions that uh, you gotta do to to win. You know? Now this is a really strong push coming in. I poison on the left, Guardian on the right. I also play Evo Evo Skellies to kill that little prince. Uh, I'm gonna play Ice Spirit to retarget that Guardian and one Elixir Skeleton is killing the Guardian. I'm gonna play Miner. I'm, uh, if you guys notice that I'm playing every card as like 2 and 3 Elixir in my hand. And I have 2 and 3 Elixir in my hand because if you don't play quick enough then uh, you're gonna lose because this is a uh, Miner cycle. So I poison that little Prince because Motar is gonna get one more shot so any Motar is gonna more shots, so I poison the little prince. So I play with little prince on the right to, um, to tank for those four goblins, and then um, log on the left. He's also gonna poison my little prince. Now, as soon as um, the overtime hits, it's gonna get insane. Like the defense is actually crazy. Now watch this. Watch this. Look at this. I have two elixir in my hand. Opponent is right. he has twelve elixir on board. He also play wall breakers on the right. Let's look at the right side first. I tank the wall breakers with mortar. One elixir skeletons to kill the recruits. Look at this ice spirit timing. Tank the one recruits. Perfect timing to freeze that fisherman. That was like different. Now let's look at the left side. I have one little prince attacking the recruits. He abilities. I, as soon as I have the elixir, I also have ability. And then like the guardian, kill guardian. It's like two-way defense at the same time. That was like the replay of what, what just happened. I just showed you like the same footage two times to look at the left and the right lane. Because you guys need to like defend and attack both lanes at the same time. Like it's not easy, but 
that's how you get a player to win. Now, I spirit on pride to freeze that. Motor is gonna kill it. Yep. Let's play bats for the wall breaker as soon as I can. Minor on tower always. Minor on tower, like, as soon as I have minor in the overtime, always on tower. So minor was actually tanking for the bats. He took it. So, this was a really uh, hard game, to be honest. I know it looks easy, but that game was really hard. So, yeah, 12 wins in Grand Tower with the 2.5 minor cycle. Like, with Mortar, this is my battle log. Like, I won so many meta decks. I also won against Graveyard and stuff, so. That's pretty cool, and uh, see you guys next time.